college, leaving home for the first time, moving into the dorm, getting your class schedule, discovering that your textbooks are gonna cost as much as a NASA space toilet. Luckily, there are alternatives to the textbook racket. They just involve being a better shopper. Chegg is a good option for finding textbooks to buy or sell, and they also have a big selection of books that you can rent. You can save a lot of money by renting your textbooks, and then when the semester's over, you just give them back. Chegg will let you write in some books or highlight them. You probably want to keep that to a minimum along with the coffee stains. Some other options for renting books are Book Renter or Campus Book Rental. Both of those have big selections of books and free shipping. And many college bookstores, like Cal Berkeley, also offer rental options. The books still aren't cheap, but it definitely eases the pain a little bit. If you're interested in renting digital books, keep an eye on Packback. These guys figure that sometimes people only need a textbook a couple times a year. So they'll let you rent it by the day for three to five bucks per rental. If you find that you need it more, you can actually apply that rental money toward buying the book. And Packback lets you make notes and highlights in its e-reader. And if you return the book and then rent it again, they'll still be there. The selection of books is tiny right now, only about 2,500 titles. But Packback says it's working with publishers to add more. And in the meantime, they also have on their site a real-time price comparison engine to help find better prices for buying and selling used textbooks. These days, you have to treat college like everything else in your life. You use the internet to make it better. And then you can save your money for what you really need it for, beer. <laughs>